Hi guys! I hope you're having a great magical day where you are as I'm having a good day where I am. So today guys I wanted to showcase my latest ears that I have created to post onto the storefront. If you're not familiar with my channel then you may not know that I make mouse ears and I have my own online store. I'll leave it right down here below and you can check it out and you can also click on the storefront in the description box as well. From time to time, I will use uh, my YouTube channel as a source to show you the latest ears that I am going to be uploading to the site. So today, guys, I have five ears I want to share with y'all. And um, on my social media accounts, which are all in the description box down below, I had posted fabric to give y'all kind of like a sneak peek of what would be coming out. And I have already made two ears. I have already shipped them out and they're not even on the storefront yet. So um, those ears, I still have them available, but I have a limited quantity because that fabric is limited. But I will go on ahead and show y'all those ears first. And they, are you ready to see them? These are called the Mighty Gras Ear. Ta-da! They are right there, and I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell inside, and the sun is not bright right now, or I would take these out for y'all. But guys, I have put Saborski crystals, these are real Saborski crystals, on the mask, just to kind of bling them out. And there's that side, and then these are the back of the ears. And I don't know if the light is picking up the crystals or not. And then as always guys with my ears I line them with a ribbon on the inside and then I put like my little um, logo in there as well. These ears are very lightweight and I usually have a little bit bigger bow on my ears but because this has a pattern I didn't want the bow to block the pattern too much so I will put them on for you and you can see what they look like. And I think I need to bring the camera up. So give me one second. Okay, guys, I brought the camera up. That way you can see what they look like. But that is how they look on. Again, they're very lightweight. I can look up and they're not falling back. I can look down. I can go side to side. And I would jump up and down, but I'm not going to do that today. But they do stay on and they're a comfortable fit. And I do have them lined on each side with Mighty Gras beads. I did one side green and then the other side I did in purple. So you can check these out on the site if you're interested in them. Again, I do have a limited quantity as I have um, limited fabric in this. The next couple of ears I'm going to show you were inspired by um, spring and summer coming and uh, garden festival and um, what else? Easter. So um, if you plan on going to Disney between um, now and like August, these would be really great ears. And again, guys, I'm excited about showing these to you, but again, I don't think you're going to see how they sparkle because they do sparkle in the sunlight. Again, I use Sephorsky crystals all over this ear. This ear was time consuming, but it was a pleasure to create. And I have these beautiful garden flowered ears and they're right here. And here is the side. So that's what they look from the side. And that's how they look from the back. Again, guys, they do have Sephorsky crystals on them. And I put a little bit of greenery in there as well, just to kind of give it um, offset um, the color. Again, it's aligned in the middle with my um, logo tag in there as well. And we'll put these on. So again, they just pop right on. And there they are. What do y'all think? I think these are cute. And we are going to Disney in the fall. I don't think these ears would look right in the fall 
but I don't know, who cares? They're Disney ears, right? I made these, I'm like, Dan, we need to go to Disney now so I can wear these ears. And he's like, our trip is booked for the fall. So, but yeah, guys, here these are, and I love them. Again, I can look up, I can look down, I can go side to side, they stay on, you can jump up and down. I love them. I love them, love them, love them, love them. And when it's sunny out, I promise you these things bling, okay? Again, if I could take these outside and show you, I would. Again, I just put all the little Sephorsky crystals throughout. And then I have a beautiful pair of just traditional floral ears. Very simple, but yet very elegant. And I've got these right here with the white bow. And then I have uh, pink, baby pink pearls going around. And there is the back. These actually, believe it or not, made me think, I don't know why, of the Grand Floridian. I, I don't know, but maybe because of the pattern. But um, I just fell in love with these after I made them as well. So here is how these look on right here. And again, they look very pretty outside. I think they would look very pretty in the sun. This is a great ear to wear during Easter, the summer, even garden festival. It's, it's just a pretty all around springy, summery ear to wear. So are you ready for the next ear? It's very similar to the other flowery one that I showed you, but this time it's in purple right there. And I'll bring those up close. And again, I added a little greenery to kind of offset the colors. Again, guys, Sephorsky crystals. And I wish I could bring these outside for y'all, but again, it's a gloomy day. I got a little bit of something right there. I gotta get it. Woo, did y'all see that? Anyway, there is the front again. Again, it's lined with ribbon and it has my little logo on the inside and I will put these on for you. Put them on and there you go. That's how those look. Very, very cute. I love them. I love the purple, the light um, baby purples in there with a little bit of white. These have uh, shades of pink, fuchsia, orange, and red sunburst colors. But um, I think these, again, would look good all summer at Disney, even in the spring, during flower and garden, heading into fall. And again, I wish I could wear these going to Disney this fall, but I'm not sure that these would look quite right for that time of season. The last ear, guys, that I made was, again, a very simple ear, but very pretty fabric. It does have its own shimmery sparkle to it. Uh, I like the simplicity of it, but it is right here. And I just did a simple butterfly, and I'm not sure that y'all can tell that that fabric has a shimmer to it, but it does and there's the back again i made this bow a little smaller than usual because i wanted to make sure that i captured the pattern of the butterflies and those go on like that just like that and i think those look pretty too and guys anytime that i deal with a pattern like these ears or these ears they may not be identical to what you see on the site versus what you receive. I know, for example, I mailed two of these ears and this little mask was actually on the front of one of the ears that I made. So it may not be exact, but I, when I'm messing with patterns, I will also make, you know, I always make sure to give you a full butterfly or a full image, it just may not be exactly like you see on my site. It's kind of like when you buy a Dooney and Burke handbag, every handbag's different because of the pattern placement, so, on the handbag. But yeah, guys, those are all the latest ears that I have made. They are up on the site now for purchase. I feel that my pricing is very comparable when I compare it to other pricing online so hopefully you can find something on there that you um, like make sure that you are following me guys at rachel's creative designs on instagram or facebook 
You can also follow me at Life in Disney on either social media account as well because there is where I post like the latest ears that are coming out. Sometimes I give you all sneak peeks. And yes, guys, I do post ears to those social media accounts that you can't always get at my store. Um, sometimes I make ears and I don't post them to the store, but people still place orders and I, sh you know, walk them through how to do that. So feel free to check out the site, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about, uh, the ears. I will say I love these two. They're like my favorite. And then the Mighty Gras ears, of course, but, um, like I said, I've already, you know, mailed the two of these out and um, these you can kind of wear anytime, I think. They're very, you know, festive. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by at Life in Disney today and sharing a little bit of your time with me. So until next time, guys, y'all take care. Y'all have a magical day and a magical week. And I will see y'all later, guys. Bye. Take care.